Ja, damit willkommen zu einer weiteren Episode von Not For Broadcast. Ich frage mich ja wirklich, wie lange es ja noch geht. Steam sagt schon, ich spiele das schon seit elf Stunden. Und ich dachte, das Spiel wäre so, ja, fünf, sechs Stunden. Jetzt ist aber doch so lang. Nicht schlecht. Vor allem, was das für ein Produktionsaufwand gewesen sein muss. Oh, wir gehen wieder weiter in die Zukunft. Na? 2079. Wohlverdiente Strafe. Oh. Für mich? Wieder einmal sitzt du im Bosemans Büro. Alles ist makellos ordentlich, wie der pingelige Bosemann es gerne mag. Wobei es selten vorkommt, dass er sich verspätet. Also dir gerade ausmaß, was wohl der Grund für seine Verspätung sein mag, geht die Tür von hinter dir auf. Ah, Alex, danke fürs Warten. Ich glaube, das seit fast sechs Jahren für uns, Alex. In dieser Zeit ist viel passiert. Von dem bedauernswerten Zwischenfall mit Mr. Donaldson bis zu dem Destruktangriff auf dieses Gebäude. Er hält inne, um dich anzusehen. Du blickst ihn an. Und du hast in dieser Zeit gute Arbeit geleistet. Und man hört auch im Büro nur Gutes von dir. Des Weiteren habe ich gute Nachrichten. Als Anerkennung für deine Leistungen bekommst du eine kleine Gehaltserhöhung. Oh, das ist aber schön. Muss man lächelt dich jetzt an. Äh, danke, Sir. Ganz und gar nicht. Du hast es verdient. Aber es ist kein Grund, dich auf den Lorbeeren auszuruhen. Du hast doch sicher noch etwas zu arbeiten. Und damit wendet er sich einigen Papieren auf seinem Schreibtisch zu. Das Gespräch ist ganz offensichtlich beendet. Du gehst wundern Schrittes zurück in dein Studio. Es ist schön, ein wenig Anerkennung zu bekommen. Ja, allerdings. Aber vielleicht können wir ja doch das Haus behalten. Ja, wobei, jetzt sind wir schon so weit in der Zukunft. Da haben wir jetzt noch kein Update gekriegt. Oh, 2303 Tage. Ausgemachte Sache. Oh, Weihnachten. Es ist spät. Und es ist offensichtlich eine neue Wohnung. Es hat den ganzen Tag geschneit und im Gegensatz zu allem anderen bist du so viel wie möglich drinnen geblieben und hast dich warm gehalten. Normalerweise magst du den Schnee, aber heute nervt er dich. Boah, die Wohnung ist aber echt nicht so geil. Ähm, aber das morgen feiern und kannst den Tag vielleicht sogar genießen. Sam freut sich immer wahnsinnig, wenn es schneit. Als die Kinder klein waren, hatte Daisy immer dick eingepackt und ist mit ihnen im Schnee spielen gegangen. Aber das ist schon lange nicht mehr passiert. Deine Wohnung ist nicht ganz so gemütlich, vor allem, wenn du es dir nicht leisten kannst, die Heizung einzuschalten. Au, oh, das ist wirklich mies, vor allem, wenn es richtig kalt ist. Ich meine, jetzt bei uns hier im Winter ist teilweise minus 10, 13 Grad. Ah, nicht angenehm. Sam kommt mit ein paar Einkaufstüten aus der Kälte herein. Kannst du mal kurz helfen? Das sind echt jede Menge Treppenstufen von hier zum Auto. Daher hat die Arme voll und offenbar große Mühe, alles in die Küche zu befördern. Andererseits warst du den ganzen Tag in den in der Abend und Day wie üblich nur zu Hause. Oh, tut mir leid, ich komme natürlich sofort. Was, kannst du nicht einfach den Aufzug nehmen wie normale Menschen? <lacht> Na, wir helfen da natürlich. Du weißt hinüber, um Sam mit den Tüten zu helfen und Day lächelt dich dankbar an. Das meiste habe ich, aber ein paar Tüten stehen noch unten. Du gehst hinaus und bist schon fast beim Aufzug angekommen, als dir wieder einfällt, dass der aus dem Betrieb ist. Ja, ja, okay, da haben wir es ja. Als du die Tüten hochhebst, merkst du, dass Sam offenbar Fajitas machen will. Dein Lieblingsessen. Offensichtlich ist noch nicht alles verloren. Ihr vergesst das Wetter und die unbezahlten Rechnungen, während ihr eure wunderbare kleine Küche zusammen kocht und lacht wie früher. Dir wäre klar, dass ihr zum ersten Mal seit dem Einzug wieder glückliche Erinnerungen schafft, als Sam dich über den Tisch hinweg mit Sauerkrieg bespritzt. <lacht> Geld ist nicht alles. Und... Ah, wieder so weit. Also das finde ich ein bisschen uncool, aber gut. Der eine Entscheidung. 2340. Zeit für Reflexion. Oh oh. Dein Vater ist vor über 13 Jahren gestorben. Du hast sein Grab seitdem einige Male besucht. Meistens, wenn du sehr gestresst warst oder wenn du nachdenken musstest oder wenn du einfach ein bisschen Ruhe und Stille gebraucht hast. Sam legt dir tröstend die Hand auf die Schulter. Du bist froh, dass Dane noch an deiner Seite ist. Sam ist einfach nur... Was? Sam einfach nur an deiner Schulter zu haben, macht schon alles leichter. Ein Rabe kräht, als er sich in die Luft schwingt. Charlie war erst acht, als sein Großvater gestorben ist. Er konnte damals noch nicht verstehen, was das für ein schwerer Verlust war. Du hast dich danach immer bemüht, an ihn weiterzugeben, was dein Vater dir beigebracht hatte. Doch jetzt ist Charlie erwachsen und inzwischen bringt er dir viel üb übers Leben bei. Was merkwürdig, aber auch wunderbar ist. Du bist stolz, wie er sich entwickelt hat. Susi, die arme Susi. Du würdest alles geben, um sie wieder zu haben, wenn auch nur, um mit ihr zu streiten. 
Sie wollte doch einfach nur die Welt kennenlernen. So neugierig, so voller Leben. Bis zur Befreiungsnacht. Die hat alles verändert. So viele Leben wurden zerstört. Der Verhältnis zu Chris war immer etwas angespannt gewesen. Aber das hatte Day nicht verdient. Hättest du dem nicht deinen Pass gegeben, wäre Day in Sicherheit gewesen. Ah. Wäre das tatsächlich eine Wendung gewesen, wenn ich ihm nicht den Pass gegeben hätte? Hm, ich glaube, bis zu dem Punkt war es nochmal interessant zu spielen. Um zu schauen, ob wie fern sich das dann später noch auswirkt. Ich glaube, das mache ich dann mal für mich. Ähm, und Sam war damals noch so glücklich darüber. Man weiß nie, wie eine Entscheidung endet. Ja, so ist das mit Plänen. Deine Mutter, deine Mutter ins Übergangszentrum zu bringen, war eine schwierige Entscheidung. Vielleicht die schwierigste in deinem ganzen Leben. Du weißt immer noch nicht, ob es die richtige Entscheidung war. Aber wenigstens leidet sie jetzt nicht mehr. Und wenigstens sind sie und dein Vater jetzt zusammen, was auch immer als nächstes geschieht. Es wäre aber schön, sie hier bei dir zu haben. Du wendest dich ab und gehst zu deinem Auto. Man kann das Leben nicht kontrollieren. Was passiert, wer lebt, wer stirbt. Man kann nur weiterleben und abwarten, was einem als nächstes entgegengeschleudert wird. Ist das Leben nicht einfach eine Abfolge von kleinen Entscheidungen, die uns definieren? Ja, er wird schon sagen. Und wir wissen nie, welche Entscheidungen uns in eine Richtung äh, führen und welche uns hierher führen. Alter, die Walfi. Man, Disrupt muss doch, also wenn die da aktiv sind, die müssen doch während der ganzen Zeit ja noch viel mehr gemacht haben. Es wirkt immer so, als würden die da rumschlafen. Naja. Aktiviere den Hardcore-Modus in den Optionen. Naja, gut. Das Finale. Wirklich Finale? Nee. Sieben Jahre seit der Wahl. Right. Let's try and get through this last one, Alex. For old time's sake. Was? No advance have allowed your equipment to fall into disrepair. It's all gone wrong since they took over. Not that the alternative was any better. Those dangerous bloody psychopaths had disrupted. Still, the show must go on. One more time at least. Quick point before you start. We're still having a few problems with the machinery. Locking buttons, screens flickering on and off, sparks and the like. I'm sure you'll manage without issue. Oh, and don't forget. You've got free reign of the SFX buttons these days. Make the most of it. Ach, was wenn wir jetzt echt abgeschalten? Nee, das kann doch nicht das Ende sein. Naja, aber wenn die Qualität der Nachrichten so weiter ich in der ganzen Zeit. Na geil, Monitor ausgefallen. I'm Megan, and I'm joined, as always, by the inimitable Robin and Patrick. How are we? Well, we have got so much going on tonight. I'm excited. I'd say I'm about a 12, Megan. <laughs> on the excitement scale. Yeah, exactly. We have got so much SoCo stuff coming up. No! We have celebrity chef Jordan Brankley, who will be cooking up a store. We'll be announcing the winners of our big Man, halt immer falsch. Visions of the future. And we'll be joined by a very special guest for a game of Wheel of Truth. Nein! Die zwei ist gesperrt! Okay, das macht jetzt interessant mit den ganzen Effekten. Oh, disrupt. Just like before, we gain hearts and minds. Because the truth is like that. Irresistible. We're back. And we're only getting started. Oh, nice. Right, let's have some applause on the way into the next section. Cases by Chef Jordan Rankley. But first, we know you love them. So Robin's going to give us an update on our lovely nightly show pets in Pet Corner. Fine, suit yourself. Well, Megan, first up, we have our hamster, Lord Cheeks. Now, he's a squat winter grey with the scientific name Adipem stultus. He is here with us in this cage. Hamsters love hoarding, and they actually have special pouches in their cheeks for storing food. 
he loves carrots, apples, and chewing tobacco. Now, hamsters are nocturnal, so we'll do our best not to wake him up. But let's just see if we can. Yeah, what is it then? Well, the is door it okay? has been left open. Um, so. Wow. It looks as though Lord Chinks has actually gone for a little wander. Uh, but I'm sure he will be around here somewhere. Oh! Yeah, in the meantime, let's he got say the to our tortoise. Now, after last month's viewer vote, she is now, of course, called Slow Barbara. And don't panic, even though it is December, Babs here doesn't actually hibernate. Let's say hello. Oh, Aww. he's sleeping. Oh, Babs. Is die wirklich echt? Oh. <laughs> oh. Uh, uh, those are our nightly show pets, Megan, both alive and well. Back to you. With SFX, less is more, Alex. Or some very similar animals at the same time tomorrow. Now then, I hope you're hungry, because if not, you're about to be. Patrick Bannon is with Chef Jordan Rankley, and they're going to be showing us how to make a delicious apple pie. Was is tot? Into the kitchen. Into the kitchen. That's right, and I'm joined here by Chef Jordan Rankley. Welcome to the Nightly Show Kitchen. How does it compare to the kitchens you're used to? I love the colours. It's vibrant. It's fresh. <laughs> None of that will be arseholes. Yes? Sorry? What? <laughs> so, uh, you own six restaurants. You've been awarded nine Ballon Massifs across your career. And you've worked alongside the best chefs in the world. Tonight you've got me. Oh, are you worried? <laughs> Am I fucking worried? Are you worried? <laughs> are you fucking worried? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, what are we making today, Chef? Oh, this in 7 minutes 50 seconds. Yeah. They're hungry. We're going to make them a delicious apple pie. Ooh, lovely. It's got sweetness. It's got the acidity of the fruit. Mm. And then you get the richness of that pastry. Incredible. Wow, okay. So, we have to start. Oh. So, we're going to start by making our filling. So, we've got about a Ob kilogram. Is it really a man or a woman with a really deep voice? And we're going to slice these up perfectly. Yeah. And then, straight into the pan. Uh, so, uh, your new show, uh, Demon Kitchen Heart Eater, starts on Friday here on Channel One. So, tell us about that. <laughs> so, teams of young chefs come into my kitchen. Aber sie gesagt, am Freitag ist dann die Show. Aber er sagt heute irgendwie der letzte Tag. Hä? What are you doing? What? <laughs> Shit! Is that how you cut? Fuck! You lose a fucking finger. Oh, don't worry, I've got spares. <laughs> right, what? So, uh, once we've done that, we uh, set these aside whilst we make the pastry. Yeah. Mm. Yep. Bowl. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Sugar, butter. Yeah. We mix that together, and then a whole egg. Yeah. Okay. Egg. What? Did you get this whole egg out of Donkey. Are your brains the size of that fucking egg? Oh no, chef. No. <laughs> Shit, right. Mix that with a wooden spoon and work in that flour, okay? Alter, die hat das ganze Ei drin verarbeitet. So, uh, what does the notoriously fierce Jordan Rankley do to unwind? <laughs> What's that? What is that? Well, it's, it's a bit, bit lumpy. Lumpy? But... It could fucking pass for a sack of spots. Touch that. Touch it. Oh. Yeah? Pathetic. That goes into chill. Now, we're not going to fill it. Okay. Apples, sugar, yes. cinnamon. <coughs> What's the... Oh, so, Holy uh, shit. Oh my god. Oh, you own six restaurants across five territories. <laughs> Which is your favorite? <laughs> Are you mixing that or fucking it? What? Are you going to light a candle? Take it out to dinner? Fucking mix it for fuck's sake. Right. Now we're rolling out two thirds of our pastry. Oh God. A bit of flour into the dish. Yes. Uh, and uh, the filling goes next, right? Absolutely right. Goes next, Why right? are you watching this? Oh. Remember how it feels to be informed, to feel connected to what has happened in the world. You remember Jeremy Donaldson, because I do. I remember how he died. And now I watch this excuse of a program and I realize he was 100% right. Disrupt's first martyr died protecting this show. If you could see it now, 
me to wonder why he bothered. Hmm, yeah. And then brushing the whole thing with a beaten egg. Das sieht echt schlimm aus. Was die macht das schon wieder? Tada! What do you think? Oh my god. You, you, come here. Come here, you. That's a disgrace. I'd rather jam my eyeballs up my fucking ass than look at that. I'd rather use my tongue to tie my shoes after the fucking shit-kicking contest. Do you understand? Then it goes in the oven for 45 minutes. Oh, I'll put your fucking head in the oven while you're at it. Useless. <laughs> you! Come here, you! You're the worst fucking thing to happen to food since cyanide. Do you know that? I tell you what. Fuck off! Oh. Get the fuck out of here! <laughs> fuck off! Yes, okay, well, while I do that, <laughs> let's go now to Megan and Robin, who will be announcing the winners of our competition, Visions of the Future. Don't forget the SFX buttons. Well, that looks delicious. <laughs> Nein, überhaupt nicht. If you want to follow along at home, then make sure you write in with a stamped address envelope and we'll send you the fact sheet. So, Robin, look at all these amazing entries to the Vision of the Future competition. Yes, we challenged you to show us your predictions of the future and we were just inundated with entries, weren't we, Megan? From wacky inventions to global problem solving, they are all amazing and we had the best time looking through each one. It was so tough narrowing it all down. So we have some amazing runners up. In third place, from roll, please. Yeah, a bit too free. We have Hamish, who's three from Lunwelly. Oh. <laughs> he calls this still life and the future of God. And he blows away. Man, I can't even go to the one. Ah, really yet. Passionate stroke of the brush. Mm. If you look here, yeah, moderne Kunst war noch nie meins. Rendered what I thought at first was a smiley face or. Perhaps a cat, but I think if you really look, you'll see it's actually a representation of the seeming futility of death in the eyes of the living. Indeed. He's also chosen to just leave a lot of it blank, mm. which I think is really interesting. If you know Hamish and his work, of course, he, he loves focusing on the negative space mm -hmm. rather than the image itself. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. And such talent from one so young, Megan. But... Next up we have our second place entry. Wie kann ein Sender nur so abstürzen mit dem Inhalt her? We have Keith, 41 from Das ist nicht schlecht. He was sort of aimless towards our younger viewers, but still, he has sent in his idea of the future, which he's calling Ravaged Earth. Indeed, he says, and he's really rather detailed notes um deprived of basic resources society will resort to a brutal system of weekly battles to the death where only the victor may breathe <laughs> he also says a problem here either that or about the same but maybe a bit worse i really love his attention to detail you can see the sort of gladiatorial arena and then what i can only assume also, sieht eigentlich aus wie die straße himself. wo die da halt da stehen und die zwei Okay. Maybe if you spent more time outdoors and less time entering children's competitions, she might not have left. <laughs> Special one there. And finally, of course, it's time to reveal our winner. All our runners-up will receive a day out at an inflatable happy land on an industrial estate. Just not the oh, end, of Sorry about that, Keith. But our lucky winner will win the chance to spend the day at the Department of Change to see how our teammates are actually making the new future of reality every day. And the winner is... What? Warum? <laughs> okay. Oh, disrupt. Sometimes I've found them. Other times I've not been so lucky. I used the rant about belief juice, a drug in the water. And I was wrong. I admit that. Oh, finally. It's right here. In this screen. In this show. This is your belief juice. You drink it nightly, through your eyes, and it makes you stupid and asleep. Gone a bit haywire <laughs> in what I can only assume is an ominous sign of things to come. Lovely Lola. Well, if our winners have inspired you to make some artwork of your own, do keep sending them in. And yours could be. Nein, bitte nicht. Macht doch mal bitte anständige well, Sendungen. Ganz am Anfang habt ihr es ja wenigstens noch right probiert. Now, but when we come back, we'll be playing the Wheel of Truth yeah. and making some lovely homemade gifts. Don't go away. We'll be back after this. Right. That's the break.
what I can tell, the machine's getting a bit worse for wear there, Alex. Okay. I expect your kids will be going downhill a bit more in this next segment, so be careful. Don't take any unnecessary Oh, security is with it, though. To be honest, I handed in my notice this morning. What? So long as it finishes. The rest doesn't really matter anymore. Call me when you're done and I'll take you out. Er hat gekündigt? Was? Äh, uh, okay, und jetzt ist hier komplett weg. Krass, also, hä, also ist es jetzt nur für ihn Schluss, aber für den Sender geht es schon noch weiter, aber da geht halt hier den Bach runter. Oh Mann. Na gut, schauen wir uns jetzt mal an, was hier in der Werbung ist. Frozen Sight over Territories 3 and 4 as a Category 2 Storm Warning means we advise our residents to spend their leaders weekend indoors. Though we're sure the happy parents of the 12 new children in Territory 3 will be thanking their lucky stars for an excuse to stay home. Though, of course, nothing to do with stars. More of a hot air, cold air thing. Next, this Territory 5. Miles heads across Territory 5. We're still a under a blanket. Out there. Oh, ich will jetzt eigentlich nicht anhören. I'd have to use a high pass filter. It's a revolution, Colin. Well, can you ask them to keep it down a bit? Jenny. Jenny, where's Glyn? Can we get him out here? I'm not sure about this grandma one. Oh, he's writing with our other guests at the moment. But I just wouldn't say grandma. Grandmother? Yes. Grandmother's arsehole. That's much better. Oh, oh, okay, everyone, if I could have your attention, please. Sarah just needs a word. Apparently, there's been some sort of disturbance near the studio. Now, I'm sure it's nothing to worry about, but I wanted to let you know that I've asked for extra security, and they're already on their way. Thanks, Sarah. Oh, shit. We're going to have to go to the TV set there, Raiden. Okay, this time you've said it. Laughing, and we're going in five, four, three. <laughs> <laughs> A bit more audience reaction would be nice, Alex. Yeah, it's not good. Wait to taste Patrick's pie. Oh, I don't know. I think I could wait. <laughs> well, here it is, fresh out the oven. Oh. <laughs> well, holy amazing. shit. Jordan, how does our Patrick do? Well, let's just say. Oh, he's got more crust than my grandmother's arsehole. <laughs> Thank you for that. Well, come on, try it. Dig it. No, please. Yeah. Please don't. Okay. <laughs> ja, wie einfach keiner wirklich ein Stück nimmt. <lacht> no! Oh my god. Oh lord. Es ist echt schlecht. Really something, Patrick. That's delicious. <lacht> But now you better go and get ready for that next feature. <lacht> <laughs> Every night we play a game Wheel of Truth with our celebrity guests. But I know what you're thinking. Uh, Megan, we've only got one celeb guest. <laughs> well observed, you as well observed. <laughs> well then, I'd better bring her out. Should I? The surprise guest? What do you think? Here she is, best-selling author, lawyer and thinker. I mean, she's only the blooming team leader. <laughs> It's Julia Salisbury! Prime Minister Julia Salisbury! Oh no! Let's see! <laughs> Oh mein Gott, aber die werde ich jetzt mal sowas von ausbuhen. That's right, it's that part of the show where we pit our celebs against each other to see if we can break them. That's right, Robin. They're gonna spin the wheel to pick around, and it could be anything from box of flies to slap my face. <laughs> They really have no idea what's in store. <laughs> so up first we have Jordan. Oh. Let's give it a spin. Yeah, here we go. Oh. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, okay, <laughs> let's see what you've landed on. Okay, it's oh. fact or fib. Fact or not? Okay. Is it true that you've been known to order takeaway for a dinner party and pass it off as your own cooking? Fuck. <laughs> one fucking time. <laughs> one time. Well, I think if that pie was anything to go by, you did them a favour. Oh, oh. not so fast there, Julia. Fact or fib? I don't care. We've heard of saving time during the laundry. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, why don't you tell us about it? <laughs> you absolutely... No, no, I can't. <laughs> okay, what do you... So don't judge it. Do you... do... Oh, disrupt this video, though. If I record this, maybe you'll see this tonight, or next week, or never. It takes a lot to even get these on the air. And many small acts of rebellion. 
but don't worry. The fact that you can hear this at all proves it. You're never alone. No! No! Honestly, raise my taxes. We're clearly not paying you enough. Come to my dressing room after the show. We'll sort you out. Oh. Patrick, is all this talk of bras <laughs> embarrassing you? Blushing. I mean, I'm not blushing. Blushing. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Come on, then, you, Julia. Spin the bloody wheel. Let's do it. Oh, my God. And this is not going to be eight minutes long. Das Ding ist, dass er wirklich TV sind. Er gibt dir halt so einen Schrott aussehen und die Leute schauen sich das halt an. Ja, <lacht> Tiere. Alter, der hat seine Kamera, bitte lasst es doch. Oh, was echt jetzt? Oh, 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 wow. Oh my god. Was war jetzt? Ich glaube, ich bin auch nicht anders, auch schon. So was hast du? Ach nö. It's our little studio. Look at that. Isn't it adorable? Oh, all of us there on the sofa. Wow. Oh, it's gorgeous. Oh, is that all you in there? Yeah, it is. If we can just get a little zoom in. There we are. Oh, I don't know about you, Julia, but I always leave my holiday shopping to the last minute. Oh, every year. I do it every 
every year. Well, luckily, these make amazing gifts. Shall we get cracking? Oh, yes, please. <laughs> We're going to start with a shoe. Ah, dieser Sender. Ich glaube, jetzt würde ich dann auch langsam nicht mehr für den Sender arbeiten wollen, bei so einem Inhalt. Are you big celebrators in your house, Julia? Oh, yes. No, in my house, we show our love through food, like big dinners, loads of drinks. That's the best bit about any holiday. It's all that food. This bit as well. Absolutely right. Cutting along the line there. Do be careful with the scissors at home. Make sure you're being supervised <laughs> if you are a child. <laughs> there we go. Fabulous. There we go. Okay, so it's going to look a little something like this, and I've got one here I made earlier. We painted it with a bit of poster paint, white to match our lovely curtains here in the studio, but you can obviously have whichever backdrop you like. Like a nice shiny gold number. Well, exactly right. So, we're going to make bits of our set now to put in the studio, perhaps a little desk. So, I'm just going to grab this piece of card. I've just got it from a little cereal box packet. I think you... Oh. I'll give you this one, Julia. Oh, Shall thank I? you there so you much. Go. <laughs> and all you need to do is cut along the lovely. lines there. Fabulous. So what's the best part of any Leaders' Day dinner, do you reckon? Uh, I don't even have to think about it, really. I love the three <laughs> potato pie. Three potato pie, I don't know that one. You know, with the chips covered in the mash or wrapped up in a jacket potato. That just means it does that. <laughs> I don't know, but that sounds starchy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Julia. So now she's folding over a little bit there. What it's going to look like at the end is this little rectangular shape there. We're going to pop it in the middle. Bit of sticky tape on the back there. So it's Ganz ehrlich, wenn ihr sowas wirklich ernsthaft machen wollt, dann braucht es mehr Zeit für sowas. Aber gut, das ist jetzt ein Trash-Fernseher geworden. Knocking it all over. I've got one though, Megan. Good. Fantastic. You're just going to cut along the line here, down the middle. Exactly right. And then when you've done that, around the bottom and again around the top. Well done. When you're done, oh, there we go. Going to look a little something like this. Sie baut es einfach wieder auf. Sie macht down. ja gar nicht was. Nice and comfortable sofas. <laughs> yes, can't have our tiny Megan having an uncomfortable sofa. Can no, we? Absolutely not. <laughs> She'll be on the phone to her tiny agent and getting someone tiny fired. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's only one thing missing, isn't there, Julia? What is that? A higher caliber of guests. <laughs> Nearly, it's people. <laughs> so all we've done to make our little people is we've stuck a cocktail stick into a bottle cap. Mm, we just need a face for that now. Ah, I've got a good one here. I know it well. <laughs> it's me. Lovely. I'm going to stick it down there. A little bit of sticky tape. Oh, my felt's going everywhere. <laughs> there we go. Oh, I'm a bit lonely. Let's take Robin and Patrick over. Do, 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 do. Sitting down on the couch over there. Aww. There you go. Well, 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 I'll make myself just comfortable just no Perhaps you're a bit, I don't know, nostalgic for the old look of our studio. We've got the blue studio down there. Or even a bit of retro red. <laughs> I've got Sheila Quickstep being interviewed there by... Oh, um... Sorry, that's, that's not supposed to be... Oh. Well, we're all out of time, I'm afraid, Megan. It's time for a break. When we come back, so I'll be on the front of some of you. And I just cannot wait. We'll be back after these messages. Okay, before we suffer through the last... What's what is what's Louis? Seems to be a little kerfuffle in the corridor. One moment. He's in control. Uh, is jetzt der Aufstand hier drin? What's this with you? Should we be worried? We've got the Prime Minister here. It's good that she's here. She's the reason for the extra security. Are we going to need him? Possibly. They're back. It's not very reassuring. I know. Good thing I'm not your mum, right? Yeah, but it's just draußen erstaunlich ruhig. Oh, was ah, der Heini schon wieder. Dark blue with white sweetheart blouse and the necklace Harry had given me when we'd met in the woods. And oh man, we should just get down there and It's an honest account of my childhood because in the oh, holy shit, propaganda. No need for secrets. 
There was just so much injustice in the world, I realized, as Portia Hamilton Mann lured my best friend into the convertible her daddy had bought her for Easter. How had I failed to predict the perils of being the poorest postgrad at Podgeborough? Nah, it's been saying, it's not John Hearn. It's bad, Mum. Oh, not what's, like before, what's? much more than we were expecting. And they're better organised this time, like someone experienced is running things. Well, we stopped them before, we can do it again. Thank you, Sarah. One more thing, Mum. Yes? Apparently, there's chatter about you. I've requested backup, but, well, we're stretched pretty thin, Mum. I receive death threats like other people receive post. I've learned to take it on with a pinch of salt. <laughs> of course, Mum. Thank you, Sarah. That sounded deeply worrying. Oh, you were used to it. I have. I hope I don't have to. <laughs> well, didn't Bozeman tell you? Tell us what? Oh, I'm sure he'll tell you when the time's right. This with the Königin. literally didn't. It's going in 10 seconds. I don't think she likes me very much. Oh, no. Yeah, ich auch nicht. She shows love. Five, four, three. Welcome back to the nightly show where it's time to get a little intimate with the Prime Minister on the couch of chat. Prime Minister, it's great to still have you with us. Thanks, Megan. Although maybe now's the right time to tell you that you're going to be seeing an awful lot more of me. Oh, my God. Well, I am delighted to announce that starting next week, I will be the new... Miss Salisbury, could you get ready to accompany me, please? Please remain in place, Mum. It won't take a moment. Oh, jetzt geht's up. Sit rep. Um, well, uh, we do apologize to our viewers at home for this unexpected interruption. <laughs> I'm sure it's nothing to worry about. Right, <laughs> understood. Everyone, please remain calm. How can I help? Can you clear everyone out of that area? Everyone. Okay, everyone, if you could just some... away from these studio doors. Yep, that's right, just behind the cameras, please. Do those doors lock? Is that Colin with the headphones on? Hey, mate, can you lock the doors? Can you not hear me? Colin! Colin! He can't hear us. Ah, oh, scheiße. No, I thought it was an O. Oh yes, jetzt geht's ab. Geil. Now, now listen. There's no need for any. Sit back down. Of course, whatever you say. Are we still alive? Yes, yes, we're alive. Good. Da ist er ja. It's time for some real. Finally back. You, mic me up. Is it working? I just need to check. Is it working? It's working. Good. Over there, on your knees. Now. You, next to him. Move! Scheiße, bitte lass das jetzt aber nicht in die Hinrichtung werden. You okay, Colin? Shitty birthday. Not the worst one I've had, though. Let them go, Mr. James. It's me you want. Don't flatter yourself. You're not the target here. You're just a bonus. <laughs> oh my God, is it, is it me? Na, du doch nicht. To take out a person. Ach du Scheiße. What the fuck? I know you're watching this. In your vans. Planning your counterattack. Please. Try and control yourselves. Oh. Well, I'm sure you know the rest. Alan, we can talk about this. Oh, we will. I have a lot of questions. There's no need for anyone to get hurt. <laughs> Where was that attitude during the uprising? You know, the night your thugs killed my friends. There are innocent people here. Says the woman who killed 14 million of them. No, I don't feel any great need to answer to you. Mm. In fact, get over here. I don't take orders. Come here! You <coughs> leave when I tell you to. <coughs> Holy fuck. <coughs> Give me that. Nein. Alan, don't do it. You're not an executioner. What am I then, eh? You tell me, Megan Wolf. What the fuck am I? Just a man who's just waiting over his head. Don't patronize me, you smug bitch. I'm not one of your little helpers. Get over here. Kneel beside her. You're just as fucking guilty as she is. Guilty of what? what? You fucking psychopath. All of it. She sat there smiling and let it all happen. Jeremy Donaldson died for this program. And she let it become this. Bread and circuses. Bread and fucking circuses! Don't you say his name. I beg your pardon? I said, don't you say his name. You don't get to do that! You're angry at the wrong person, love. She's the one that killed him. 
The first victim of her benevolent slaughter. Not the last, though. All I am hearing is crazy. Oh. Then maybe you should hear it from the source. Confess. Confess. Fine. Have it your own way. Bust some thick. I can't think. Stop. Answer my questions. Or she dies next. Yeah? Then who? Tell him what he wants to hear. Ask your questions. Better. First question. How did you actually think this was all going to end? In a better world. Bullshit. It's the truth! Uh, um, when we came into power, everything was broken. The, the system worked for so few that there was hunger and, and poverty and, and real pain. But you never saw that, Mr. James, because you were doing just fine, thank you very much. And my side? We were too weak, too meek. It was all good intentions and second chances and, and, and playing by the rules. Well, do you know where playing fair gets the people at the bottom? It gets them fucking nowhere. Someone had to be prepared to, to actually fight, to, to do what was required. So I did it. Because no one else was going to. 14 million people. To save the 60 million here? What would you have done? Let us all starve to death. You should have found another way. There was no other way. Is that how Peter Clement saw it? Peter was weak. I loved him more than I have ever loved anyone, but he was soft. He wouldn't have allowed it to happen. And afterwards, he couldn't sleep. It haunted him. Yeah, that's glaube ich. It killed him in the end anyway. But that's on me, Mr. James. What's on you? We're not discussing me. Didn't you hear? Disrupt died on the night of the uprising. Then how have we been watching you for months? Watching me? You're not the only one who knows how to get people on the inside. We, we knew you'd pop your grubby little head up again, and, and we've been collecting information just in case you did. There's a recording of a meeting of the so-called Disrupt Leadership. It's tiny hidden cameras, very high-tech. Perhaps the public should see what your bosses are talking about when there's no one else around. We have people at the network jamming your signals, messing with your broadcast room. We'll stop you. We have people too, and they've been doing this an awfully long time. Prepare the footage on screen four. I guess it's up to the broadcast room. You in there? If you play that footage, she dies. Play it. Play the tape. I've seen it. It's important. Soll es wirklich spielen? Fuck the console. Don't let them play that tape. Dann schauen wir doch mal. I visited Stars Levy Grad recently. What remains of it? You know, smoke still rises from some of the wreckage. Apparently, it's too dangerous to send in men to put out the fires. We have all lost that to which we were attached. Five years, General, and still it burns. That is why this cannot be allowed to happen again. Then we are all agreed. Once normalcy returns, we will proceed in a process of sanitization, Viscount. My estimates suggest that we will need to expunge at least 45,000 in each territory. Mm. And if we are to be certain, many hundreds of thousands more. There will be regional variations, of course, but the numbers will remain surprisingly consistent. It will be an industrial procedure. We will need facilities. Undoubtedly. Oh, my, my people can deal with that. They're experienced in clandestine construction under challenging conditions. But it will have to be all of them, General. The intellectuals, the radicals, the oh, yes. free thinkers. Anyone who does not understand and accept the natural order of existence. Mm -hmm. Of course, Jacob. There can be no fertile ground left for these ideas to take root again. Ich habe so das Gefühl, es ist gestellt ähm, schwierig. Ja, 
You're certain you can manage these numbers, Dave? Oh, yes, if I can, possibly more. And then there's the transition centres. They can be easily repurposed. Well, there. Wow. This is marvellous. Marvellous, gentlemen. Uh, there is one other matter to discuss. Our colourful spokesman. Ah, Mr James. He's useful for now. His appearance works well for us with the common class. But he'll have to go too, him and all his type. Oh, yes. On that, I think we can all agree. Let him dance today for the masses who clap and cheer, and then later <laughs> we cut his strings. <laughs> Obviously. The face of the future looks nothing like Mr. James. <laughs> yes, uh, I remember uh -oh. when we had troublesome cadets in a unit. We used to send them on a doomed mission. Gave their relatives something to be proud of, uh, an honourable death of a loved one. Stop them asking some troublesome questions. An excellent solution. Mr. James is full of passion. Let him consume himself with it. <laughs> Shall we turn to the matter of a new curriculum? Oh, yes. Bad choice, Alex. Kill her. No, wait. Better yet. This is on you. <gasps> Songbird down! Songbird down! Everybody stop! Lower your weapons. Think about this, Mr. James. No one else needs to die today. I agree. In four minutes' time, a helicopter is going to land on the roof of this building. I will be making my way up there and boarding that helicopter. And then I'll be on my way. And as you so observantly pointed out, no one else will need to die here today. I imagine you'll be joining me on the roof. You know I can't let you leave this room. Alan Stephen James, you are formally requested for dialogue. Under Section 12 of the Mental Health and Antisocial Activity Act, if you refuse to collaborate, I am clinically empowered to intervene. Anything you say can and will be used in efforts towards your betterment. You're arresting me. Do you not see this? A palliative advisor will be made available to you at no cost. Oh, Do you understand these advantages as I have expressed them? This is definitely the, the falsch approach in so a situation. You have no power here! If I take my thumb off this trigger, the patient is a clear and present danger. <laughs> Oh. I don't understand. Centigrade received. Fuck! Headquarters, I can confirm intelligence. The device was sabotaged by person or persons unknown. Four civilian casualties present, including Songbird. Is anyone else injured? All other hostages traumatized, but otherwise unharmed. Why are these lights on? We're broadcasting your life. Control any transmission stopped immediately. What? No, 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 you can't just cut the signal. You, we have to say something. We can't just leave them. We have to say something. I think everyone's seen more than enough. Was zum Teufel? Das wird doch jetzt wirklich endgültig das Ende sein, oder? Nein. So endet das Ganze? The God smiles like a million in the shit. Holy shit. Na, es wird wird vom Publikum immer noch geliebt und von der Branche gehasst. <lacht> Chase Hu sucht immer noch nach Möglichkeiten, seine Reise zum Mond zu finanzieren. Außerdem braucht er Wissenschaftler und Ingenieure. Oi, 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 oi. Ich es bringt den Höhepunkt zu Höhepunkt. Erst vor kurzem hat sie eine Reihe von Duftkerzen und ein Sextape veröffentlicht. Oh, Mann. Sophia Remington verblüfft die Welt weiterhin mit ihren kühnen und gewagten Unternehmungen. Seit der Einführung der Rettung schwimmen im Vergnügungspark gibt es jetzt dort immer weniger Badetote. <lacht> ah. Ja, also das Ende. Es ist schade, dass, dass es so mit Disrupt nicht funktioniert hat, wie sie es ja eigentlich haben wollten. Aber jetzt wäre da doch das Ende interessant gewesen, wenn wir Pro für die Regierung gewesen wären. Oh, das... Oh, ich weiß gar nicht, was ich sagen soll. 
Es hat Spaß gemacht, aber es hat teilweise Momente gehabt, die fand ich halt schon ziemlich hart. Also richtig hart. Das ist nichts für weiche Gemüter. Aber war mal was anderes, so als Let's Play mal zu machen. Wie denkt ihr über das Ende? Findet ihr es gut? Hättet ihr auch noch gewusst, wie es weitergeht? Ich sag erstmal Ciao und mal schauen, ob vielleicht im Abstand noch was kommt. Bis sind dann. Following the de declaration of a state of emergency, General Masters, who has granted himself extraordinary powers, insists they will only last six months. It is believed that political leaders are still being held under house arrest by the military on charges of election rigging, though the General is yet to produce any evidence to support this claim. As clashes between protesters and troops continue in Western Square this evening, I want to once again urge our viewers to stay safe as soldiers begin to patrol our streets, enforcing a curfew. Ja, liebe Leute, das ist leider das Ende von dem Video. Wie immer würde ich mich freuen, wenn ihr natürlich hier unten Kommentare reinschreibt, wie ihr es gefunden habt. Aktuelles zum Spiel findet ihr hier in dieser Playlist. Ansonsten der neueste Upload hier oben. Und wer möchte, kommt auch auf unseren Discord-Server. Link ist da rechts oben. Gibt auch immer wieder gerade die Spiele. Und da könnt ihr auch mit mir quatschen und natürlich der Community. Ansonsten lasst ein Abo da und äh, dann verpasst ihr keinen Upload mehr. Bis denn dann, euer Bucher.
bis zum nächsten Mal. Tschüss.